a young lady had sent a picture of herself, completely naked, to a boy in her year group, and it was immediately shared across the whole school. Um, They've just the done a fantastic the job. They go into schools all over Cheltenham and deliver their own special uh, presentation. Uh, and they speak to the children, and they've spoken to 9,000 uh, in the last year, and I thought that was amazing. I thought that was, it's a, it's a lot of work. So we got together, didn't we? We did indeed. Um, the double act. Yeah, and sort of, sort of said, well, actually, it's all very well, everybody trying to do their own little bit, but there's no, not, they're all having different inputs. I think because we cover everywhere in Cheltenham as well, um, it's got that structure that it didn't have before, where mm -hmm. it was a bit disjointed, where there were different people dipping into it, yeah. doing the odd bit. So each year group will have it tailored to their needs and understandings. Reception, so for anything from four, five, mm -hmm. six, they have a story about actually engaging with their parents, and asking the questions, not just clicking buttons. When we go further on at the age groups um, for the secondary schools, we do talk about a lot of that bullying, indecent images, um, the consequences, the, the legal side of it as well. Smash it. Coming out of Christmas, I reckon we could hit 10,000. Well, the teachers love it because I think um, they're very personal, they're, they're very funny and I think the kids absolutely love them and I think they can relate because they're quite young as well, that they know they're computer savvy. Um, yeah, it's been really good, really good. Are you ever, generally speaking, truly anonymous when you're online? First of all, it's the sort of voice of authority, the fact that it's not just another teacher standing up saying to them, you have to be safe online. It's not actually that often that we get police into the school and standing up in uniform talking to a whole year group, that has an impact itself. So I think they look at the police as being experts within that area, they bring that degree of expertise with them and that's what makes the difference. We learn about like the dangers of like social media and like sexting and grooming and like how it can affect you. I think it is important because we don't really like to talk about it openly so for someone to come in and tell us about it and not actually directly ask us and it might be happening to someone in the audience so him doing that it it's comforting it was very thoughtful of him to come around and ta to warn us about the dangers of sexting and grooming i think it was great and um because he was uh understanding and he wasn't really saying the internet is evil and you should never use it um but it was just saying it, you should be very careful about uh, what you do. We've been contacted by other other areas and I think Tom and Linda at the minute are trying to get it um, formatted out so other, pe they, other PCSOs from different areas. I think it would county-wide it should go out because mm. uh, they've had such fantastic success with it. I just felt because they've thought of it themselves and developed it themselves and had such a fantastic success that they really deserve this award. I'm very proud of them.